This is Siomo CY55 Wildlife Trail Camera. It's a good strong build with strong hinges and what I always like to see are these big strong chunky clips which hold the camera securely fastened in all weather and these are very easy to use in cold, frosty or wet weather. Something that some manufacturers don't think of but smaller clips can be quite fiddly when you've got frozen fingers. The camera's very well designed. It can stand either on its own base for recording images without any wobble or you can use these loops on the back to thread through the webbing strap that's included that can go around the tree or you can use either a conventional tripod using the tripod socket or use it in conjunction with this fitting which is supplied so you can fasten that onto a shed, a roof, a post or whatever and then adjust the angle using the fitting. Even the screws are supplied. So look at the inside of the camera. We now have the control buttons, the memory card slot, it can store up to 32 gigabytes. These are the infrared lights and there's a really good advantage of this camera over many others because these are no glow lights. On many cameras these will glow bright red so that if it's used in a public area for example as someone approaches it will glow bright red and the camera will effectively say here I am come and steal me. So that's not always a good idea but in the case of these they remain invisible so it's a good camera to use in high traffic areas where you don't want the camera to be seen by the public. This is a viewing screen and where you can set your menus and this is the PIR trigger. So let's have a quick look at some of the menus. To operate the camera you put it into test mode and then you can start to use the menus. These are highly intuitive. You use the arrow key to go up and down and change the settings. So the first we'll look at is the mode. This can be set to either use photo and video, just video or just photos. But I like to use both. So press the OK to enter and go on to the next setting which is photo resolution. And this camera can shoot right up to 20 megapixels which is impressive but I generally find 5 megapixels are perfectly adequate. And you can go through these settings in turn for everything. Video resolution, best to use HD. You can set the video length, the PIR interval and the PIR sensitivity as well. So depending on what you're shooting, you can go for low for large animals, high for smaller animals that require a greater sensitivity, or just leave it on middle and that's the default setting. In fact the default setting works perfectly well for probably all recording scenarios. So it's nice to have the option of being able to change the settings but I think most users will probably find the default settings are perfectly adequate. So we'll go back and now we can also use this screen here for playing back photos have already recorded on the camera so press the M button put it into the playback mode then to playback you can use the up and down arrows to view recorded images there's a sparrow for example battery storage is on the base of the camera accessed via this good strong clip and this compartment stores 8 AA batteries Alkaline are recommended but you can also use rechargeable which is what I'm using and these give equally good results perhaps not lasting quite as long but they are economical to use. So that's the camera. The best thing now I think is to set it up and pop it outside and see what we're able to record. <laughs>